low air drives embed friends. Start stop systems automatically switch off the engine at every stop. If you want to continue, they automatically restart the unit. During this, the car battery voltage can dip down below 5 volts. This can lead to problems with the system circuits. In order to address this problem, in most cases, a boost is needed. This device is placed before the converter circuit to ensure the voltage droop does not cause unacceptable behavior during this very short cranking period, for example in infotainment systems or the instrument cluster. To keep the safety and convenience functions, such as navigation, entertainment, dashboard, LED brake lights and headlights, working through drops in the battery profile, the DC-DC converter supplying these loads, must be able, to maintain regulation even when the 12 volt supply voltage, drops below the required output voltage. A boost converter, is another well-known switched mode converter, that is capable of producing a DC output voltage, greater in magnitude than the DC input voltage. In this circuits, the switch, is practically realized by using a MOSFET and diode. Let us apply the small ripple approximation, and the principles of inductor volt second balance, and capacitor charge balance from last videos to find the steady state output voltage, and inductor current for this converter. With the switch in position 1, the right hand side of the inductor, is connected to ground, resulting in this network. These are the inductor voltage and capacitor current, for this sub interval. With the switch in position 2, the inductor is connected to the output, leading to this circuit. Now, these equations, are used to sketch the inductor voltage, and capacitor current waveforms. From the waveform of the inductor voltage, it can be deduced, that the DC output voltage V, is higher than the input voltage V in. During the first sub-interval, VL is equal to the DC input voltage VN, and positive volt seconds are applied to the inductor. Since, in steady state, the total volt seconds applied over one switching period, must be zero, negative volt seconds, must be applied during the second sub-interval. Therefore, the inductor voltage during the second sub-interval, VN minus V, must be negative. Hence, V is greater than VN. The voltage conversion ratio M, is the ratio of the output to the input voltage of a DC-DC converter. The output voltage increases as D increases, and in the ideal case, tends to infinity as D tends to 1. So the ideal boost converter, is capable of producing any output voltage greater than the input voltage. There are of course, limits to the output voltage, 
that can be produced by a practical boost converter. In the next videos, component non-idealities are modeled, and it is found that the maximum output voltage of a practical boost converter is indeed limited. Nonetheless, very large output voltages can be produced if the non-idealities are sufficiently small. In this video, we used the small ripple approximation, an inductor volt second balance for the boost converter. In the next video, we will also use capacitor charge balance to extend this steady state analysis for this converter.